Good morning. I forgot to start the vlog before my shower, but today we are getting our lives together, packing, prepping, just basically getting ready for my upcoming vacation. Okay, here is the outfit that I chose for today. The t-shirt is from Garage, and the shorts are actually from Shein's Glow Mode collection. I feel like this is the perfect outfit because today's very, like, casual and chill, but also very productive. I was supposed to wash my hair last night, but it got too late, and then I didn't want to go to bed with, like, wet hair or worry about blow drying it. So then I said, oh, I'm going to wash it in the morning, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to have to deal, again, with wet hair or, like, having to style it right away. Yesterday, I wore a slick bath because it was so greasy, and today we're going to have to go for another slick back because this is scary. Someone to tell you you're beautiful. <laughs> okay, now that I look like a bald little boy, I'm gonna do my makeup so that I don't look like this. I'm just gonna do a pretty natural makeup. I also like <clears throat> I self tan last night and I did some little um, self tanner freckles. I haven't done that since last summer But I was getting flashbacks from last summer and I was like those little freckles look so cute Like I need to do that again. So I did it y'all I have been posting so much on TikTok and when I say like so much on TikTok It's not like my old TikToks where it was just like literally a bunch of thirst traps and like stupid shit like, I've been, like, making content over there, like, doing get ready with me, is doing little, like, story time, sharing more of my life over on TikTok, which I've really never done in the past. YouTube has always been the platform that I, like, put my time and effort into, and I'm still doing that. But I have been focusing more on TikTok because I really haven't cared about TikTok since TikTok became a thing. And it's not good on, like, my business side of things because TikTok is, like, the biggest platform, and it has been for a while. It's been long away that I start taking it more seriously. So go follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. Here is the finished look, hair and makeup and all. I just love these little fake freckles. I think um, natural freckles are like the prettiest feature that a person can have. Like these little like cute like sun spot, like sun kiss spot looking things. So even though they're very like faint and not super noticeable, I just feel like it really pulls my makeup together and I, I really like my makeup today. Oh wait, I need to put my shoes on. Okay, here is the finished outfit for today. Uh, my appointment's in 10 minutes, so I need to shove my face with something to eat quick and then get on the road. I'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth removal surgery, and that was a week ago from yesterday. Today's Tuesday. Wait, what day is it? Yeah, today's Tuesday, and I got my surgery last Monday. So it's been a week and one day, but I still can't. I mean, I can eat. It's just kind of scary, and it kind of hurts to, like, chew. So I'm still sticking with pretty soft foods just to, like, make it easier for me. This is my favorite cup of yogurt, the peach one. It's so good. So for some reason, I lost track of time, and my appointment is in four minutes. So I need to get my there right now okay y'all i made it to the nail salon i'm only three minutes late so i'm gonna get my butt in there and hopefully this appointment goes pretty fast because i'm eager to like start doing the next steps already which is good because that means i'm feeling productive and this is a day that i like need to be motivated and productive so fingers crossed that today's a good day here is the before of my nails they're very i don't know they give very christmas but they were for Lollapalooza. i had a lot of red in my outfits so i just decided to go for this like cool little red squiggly design i really like them but it's time Time for it's time for new ones okay y'all it's a good thing that i was a little late because it's 12 o'clock it's 12.05 my appointment was supposed to be at 11 30 and my nail lady is still doing somebody else's nails this has never really happened before where it's like taken this much longer but literally when i was walking in the other girl was sitting down to do her nails so i walked in remember like five minutes late so at 11 35 she was starting someone else's nails so it's kind of unfortunate but it happens could have been so many different things that led to my appointment being pushed back but i soaked my nails off they're so long it low-key like freaks me out it's creepy looking i just thought i would come in here and update you because i have the time to hi guys popping in really quick to have a little heart to heart a little mental health chit chat if you will life can be so stressful and there's so many different things that can interfere with your overall happiness or you achieving your goals and whether you have like a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety or you're just an average human struggling in any way therapy can give 
give you the tools to approach life in a very different way. Back in middle school when I was going through my darkest time mentally, my parents put me in therapy and at first I absolutely hated it because I was just young and naive, but it ended up being such a great tool for me and it helped me so much through those dark times. And this is why I'm so excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's entire mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible for everybody and this is so important because it is so hard to find a therapist that you really vibe with, especially when you're limited to the ones that are in your area. Like if you live in a small town, there might only be like a couple or a handful of therapists available to choose from. BetterHelp is an online platform that makes finding a therapist easier than ever. It's completely remote and just by answering a few quick questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. There's a link in the description box if you guys are interested in signing up and clicking that link doesn't only help me and my channel, but it gets you guys 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you at all. I'm gonna be honest, finding a therapist is a lot like dating you need to find like the perfect one for you because if you guys don't really fit together like you're not going to benefit from it like you would if you really fit with your therapist so what's so good about better help is if one therapist isn't working for you you can keep trying new ones until you find the perfect match and when you switch you don't have to worry about any additional costs any insurance stuff who's in your network anything like that so if you guys are struggling at all and you feel like you could really benefit from therapy click the first link in the description box to try better help today thank you so much to better help for sponsoring today's video it's actually so exciting working with them because therapy is such a useful tool and I'm so happy that in today's society in today's age like the stigma around going to therapy is getting less and less all right let's get back to the video after two hours almost my nail appointment is done it's completed this was definitely the longest nail appointment of my life it's currently 1 18 and I went inside at 11 30 11 35 I am so happy with the nails I don't know if you can like see the chrome happening Happening on the camera I think you can but I got like the Hailey Bieber nails I've had these before I actually had them super funny story I picked these nails out like a week ago like I already had been knowing what I wanted to do next and then yesterday I saw a flashback and I literally had Hailey Bieber like white chrome nails on is that not so weird they're just so like elegant and like classy like I just want to like Hello, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, I have a mobile order for Bailey are you on YouTube? Yeah. I watch your video. Aww. What's your name? Uh, Shay. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, you have a great day. Thank you, you too. Aw. Hey, Shay, if you're watching this, love you, girl. <laughs> so we got a strawberry acai lemonade refresher. I said no strawberries, though, because I'm not allowed to eat strawberries yet. But I didn't notice until I had already driven away, and I wasn't about to drive back there and complain. I'm not supposed to have strawberries because of the seeds, because I guess, like, the little seeds can get, like, stuck in the Wisdom Chews pockets or something, because they're still not, like, healed at all. And you can literally see all all of the seeds in there oh well and then I got my tried and true uh, little uh, ham and cheese croissant it's like my favorite no it's not my favorite is uh, double smoked bacon cheddar sandwich from Starbucks but this is the second favorite this used to be my favorite I figured that the double smoked sandwich would be a little too difficult to eat and this is like nice and soft it's literally hard okay just that little piece is hard I've been taking my sweet time just hanging out in the car, but I need to go in. I pulled up to um, Kohl's. I haven't even said that. The new like Kohl's thing is that they have a Sephora inside of the Kohl's. So I'm gonna go into Sephora. I was gonna run out by the mall and go to Ulta, but I don't, I don't actually. Here's a secret. I don't even need anything. I don't know why I'm here. I don't need makeup. I don't need skincare. I don't need hair care. I don't need any of it. For some reason, for the last like week, I've just been craving to go to like Sephora or Ulta. So I just figured maybe I'll get like a few new products to bring on vacation with me, like glowy, like makeup y. Sh I don't know. I'm so bad. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I definitely just spent 
too much money for no reason. I got the Super Goop Glow Screen in the Golden Hour shade. It's like tinted. It's giving me like uh, Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drop vibes. And then I got the Sephora Vitamin C Plus E Super Glow Serum. I've never heard of this, but it looked very interesting. And like when I like took the tester and like put it on my hand, it made my hand very like soft and glowy. And I'm obsessed with just like glowy makeup. Like my face literally looks like wet. It's so glowy right now. And then I finally got some of the Benefit Benetint. I've wanted this since probably seventh grade and I just haven't purchased it. It's like a lip and cheek tint stain thing. Okay, let's go home because I have so much to do and my friends are talking about potential plans for the night and it's not looking good for me scheduling wise. Guys, also I'm using my wide angle lens again and I forgot how much I love this thing. Oh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I stopped using this lens because I felt like the quality was just like not good. It definitely doesn't look as like crisp. Oh my god. <laughs> Hiccups are like literally my least favorite thing in the entire world because why? It isn't as crisp and clean as my other lens, like my normal lens, but I feel like the trade-off works. Like this wide angle, like I forgot how great it is for vlogging. I absolutely love it. But little life hack, if you guys don't know this, every time I go to Sephora, I steal all of these. Well, I don't steal them because they're technically free. The little like spoolie eyebrow eyelash things. So I've decided that I should probably tell you where I'm going on vacation. I realize I haven't told you anything about this trip that I'm packing and prepping for. So basically, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while or like you've just, you know, been around the block a little, I have a condo in Destin, Florida and I go there pretty frequently and I always vlog it and like post a bunch about it and I'm going there in two days. I'm flying down there with my brother and his friend Colin and then my friend Ryan who just recently moved to the Sarasota area is driving I think or maybe she's flying. I feel like she's driving because I feel like she would have gotten a flight by now. I don't know. She was on the fence about it but regardless one way or the other she's coming up to Destin which is like a seven hour drive. So I'll see her and it's been two weeks since I've seen her since she moved and that's probably like the longest break we've had from each other and I'm already like I need to see you so we'll see it should be a fun trip I'm hoping that it's pretty chill and like laid back because I'm still like not feeling 100% like with my teeth and stuff but regardless it'll be fun and I need to pack so let's get going I made a little list like a to-do list for today and I'm gonna cross off everything that I've done so far so I showered did my makeup did my hair obviously it's not like a huge thing on a to-do list but I just like writing extra detailed things on here so that I can cross more off because I feel accomplished when I cross things off. Then nail appointment, check. And then my errands, bitch, you didn't need to run errands. Why did you go to the store? I did that though. The next two things on here is clean room and clean bathroom. So it looks like we have to do some cleaning right now. And then after that, we're gonna pack. All right, I'm in like the corner of my room, like behind my um, dresser, if you can see here. And I've had this stuff in the corner here since probably like May, June. Actually this June, May, I don't know. And I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. High school, oh, diploma. Should probably put this somewhere important maybe. Now, this was my little card box for my graduation party, and I have all of these checks in here, and I've already deposited these, so I'm going to... Okay, I've gone through my cards. I've looked through all of them to make sure I didn't leave, like, any money or, like, gift cards or gift certificates or anything in any of them, and I have four that I'm keeping from, like very close people to me. I'm sorry that I'm throwing everybody else's cards away. There's no way that people keep everybody's cards. All right, I'm bringing all this downstairs. vacuum there's these little like handheld attachments and they're both like supposed to be for dusting and I have like a lot of dust in my room and I hate just like dusting it away because then it just settles somewhere else so I'm gonna try using these to dust like my surfaces and like my bookshelf and stuff I'm nervous This is working really well. Really well, I'm so excited. This is great. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see all the dust that's right here, but I wanna show you how well this works. Can you guys see how well that worked? That was kinda crazy. Here is my 
my bathroom. It's really not messy. Like my counter is usually a lot messier than this. I can put this in my little cleaning area. So I keep all of like my cleaning supplies and sprays and towels and stuff. Sparkly clean. Okay, my room is much cleaner than before. It didn't look super messy before, but I feel like I needed a nice deep clean. My girlfriends that are still in town that haven't left for college are all on their way to my friend Liza's cabin for the night. I'm invited and I was gonna go with them, but I have to finish this video and I have to finish packing before I can go. So we need to get packing. I also need to eat. I might go downstairs and eat something quick now. I have my suitcase and I really wanna pack fast. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the things that are easiest, like bras and underwear, socks, and then like swimsuits, and then like pajama type stuff, like a sweatshirt or two. And then I'm gonna save like my cute outfits or like my going out outfits for the end. <laughs> Okay, so so far I've packed up my bras, underwear, and socks, and I've packed up my like comfies, and then I packed a purple quarter zip sweatshirt, and then one pair of sweatpants, just because sometimes at night I like to put sweatpants on. These are the swimsuits that I've decided to bring. I'm actually really proud of myself. If you guys have seen any of my other pack with me's, or you've seen like pack with me's from like two years ago, I used to be like the worst overpacker in the entire world. Like I'm not even kidding, I would bring 15 swimsuits to a week long trip. It has taken me so long, and like tons and tons of practice packing like just like packing over and over for different trips that I go on to minimize my overpacking. I still am by no means like a minimal packer like a minimalist packer. I still overpack but it's so much better than it used to be and I'm so proud of myself for that. I love these little triangle swim neoprene bags to pack my swimsuits in for trips. Whenever you buy a triangle swimsuit, they send it in like a really nice bag like this, which is good because the swimsuit's like a hundred bucks. I feel like swimsuits are a lot more interesting than like comfy shorts and tank tops. So I'm gonna do a speed round showing you all the swimsuits that I'm bringing. First one is this pink smock triangle suit from Princess Polly. And then this is one of my favorite bikinis right now. It's this purple like floral print but then it's also reversible into this like sparkly purple fabric this is from lenny swims and i absolutely love this one and then i'm bringing this super colorful paisley print from kulani kinis this one's also from kulani i haven't worn it yet but i got leo my boyfriend matching swim trunks to this and it's so cute and then another one of my favorites this is like my staple swimsuits this royal blue triangle top from princess polly and then i'm just bringing a black halter triangle thing from Target. I don't know. I feel like it's always good to have a black swimsuit on a trip. All right. I fit all of the bikinis in this little bag. I know I didn't do much and I said that I wanted to finish this today, but y'all have to understand my friends literally leave for college like the day I get back from my trip. So I need to soak in like every single last like experience that I can have with them before they leave. So I'm going to take a shower quick and then pack up an overnight bag for the cabin and then I'm going to head there. It's like a 50 minute drive. But y'all I promise you I will be back tomorrow to finish my packing because tomorrow is Wednesday And that's the day before my trip and tomorrow is my last option to pack So I definitely will get it done. Hello you guys. It's the next day I just got back from my friend's cottage like an hour ago. I took a shower Noah's making me food right now because I am starving, but I need to finish packing So I'm not stressed out about it now We need to finish packing and I really 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 don't want to do this right now, but I know I have to so Let's just um get into it I guess. I think I'm gonna start by picking out like my cute tops like tank tops and t-shirts and stuff And then I will pick out bottoms that will look good with those tops up here in my closet is all of my cute tank tops And there's a few in particular that I know I want to bring but I kind of just need to look through them all and figure out Which ones I really I kind of want to bring this this would be a cute going out top I accumulated the tops that I think I want to bring and then I also threw in my dresses that I'm gonna bring I always pack dresses when I go to my condo and I literally never wear them, but it's always good to you know bring some in case i just got this new dress recently from princess polly wait i don't want to show you the dresses yet but i got this new dress it's very like 
Mm, I don't know it looks like pretty fancy you know maybe just maybe even though we never go to fancy dinners when we're in Florida maybe we will this time anyways let's start off with the tops I'm gonna bring first off is this princess Polly halter this was like the Alex Earl top but when I ordered it I didn't know it was the Alex Earl top she makes the yiddies like yiddy next one is an everyday top and it's pretty casual it's just like a little white button-up tank if I want to throw it on with like some jean shorts and then I have another pretty casual tank tank it's just this like purple one super cute and then i've had this top for so long and for some reason it looks like very childish to me like i feel like i would wear this in like middle school or something but i think it's really cute and i just like haven't worn it so i'm gonna force myself to wear it there and then we have a adorable little y2k inspired motel rocks tank top it's like got paisley print on it then we have another interesting one it's literally just girls tops are crazy like if you handed this to a guy and was like put this on they would literally look at you like you just killed all of their family members this part like goes around your neck and then it like comes down like this and then you tie it like you can wrap it it's cute it's really cute and then i'm bringing this black halter tank that has an open back that like ties you can't really see it but it's cute and then i'm bringing just a plain black it's like kind of corsetti vibes and there's like corset lines you probably can't oh there you can see there's like corset but there's no wires or anything in it it's from Aritzia that's it for the shirts that I picked so far I feel like I need to pick more because like what am I I don't really have enough casual ones okay I just grabbed this one it's like a little gray button down thingy and then this also is just not casual at all but I haven't worn this in a really long time it goes like this and then it like ties I might need to grab another casual one but we'll figure that out later I just recently got this dress from forever 21 since I was in the market for more sundresses I really don't have a lot of sundresses then I'm bringing this which I got also from forever 21 but I got this like three years ago and I still haven't worn it but it's really cute I don't know what the pattern on it is it's got that same like smocked neckline this is a staple for like every vacation I go on it's like a terry cloth towel material but it's a dress and it's a great cover-up like just to throw on to go to the beach or the pool and then I'm also bringing this cover-up like a knit long sleeve and then there's like cutouts and then it goes around it's a dress I don't know oh also the dress that I was hinting at at the beginning. Here she is. She's the most beautiful dress. Literally, I love it. Like, I love this dress. And then I'm just bringing three big t-shirts just to like sleep in, lounge in, throw over a swimsuit, whatever the case may be. I have so much stuff here. Like, there's no way that this is not enough. But for some reason, I'm just freaked out that it's not enough. I was in the middle of picking out like my shorts and skirts and Noah just brought me up my food. Y'all, this looks so gas. Look at this. Oh my God. It's been a little bit. I kind of got distracted and I forgot, but I'm back and I'm going to finish packing. I can't tell if my camera's crooked. It probably is, but I'm gonna quick show you guys the bottoms that I'm gonna be bringing. The first being this little cover up skirt thing. I love this, so cute. And then I'm bringing this little cargo green skirt, a pair of white jean shorts, a pair of like super ripped up Levi denim shorts, a pair of non ripped jean shorts, a pair of like mom jean shorts that are a little bit longer and then this black cargo skirt So we actually still have a lot of room for like my toiletries, for shoes, for anything else that I want to bring. I have this super sick little contraption thing. You might be a little confused, but look at that. It's a sunglass holder for traveling. I don't know how many pairs of sunglasses I want to bring. Probably not this many. This is like the main pair of sunglasses that I wear. Um, so I'm for sure going to bring these ones. I might just bring like two and not bring this whole thing. I might bring these ones because I haven't really worn them at all recently and I feel like if I just have a black pair and then these are kind of like fun colored like if I want to wear them can put these over in this little crevice now I'm going to pack up my toiletries this is the toiletry bag that I have been using for my last couple of trips and I honestly love it because it's clear so you can like see everything and you can like grab certain stuff that you're looking for really easily and I'm gonna talk you guys through everything that I put in my toiletry bag so number one is obviously a toothbrush and toothpaste and then my 
La Roche Posay so, what the face cleanser dry shampoo of course in case the hair gets greasy floss I always bring my little pill container with ibuprofen and then I don't really know what these pills are to be honest I just recently bought two little mini um, shampoo and conditioner things I so it's our condo that we're going to like we own it and there's an owner's closet that has like a key there and we're able to keep like a cooler a speaker we have like sunscreens and aloe vera towels like beach towels we have beach chairs we have have some food that's like non perishable or whatever like stuff that doesn't go bad but the best thing that I've ever done is leave shampoo and conditioner there and like body wash so that I don't ever need to bring it because like bringing shampoo and conditioner and body wash is just like a pain I'm gonna bring this Tommy girl body lotion I'm gonna bring my coconut hair oil stuff and my favorite leave-in conditioner from Lanza. Sun Kiss by Sadie, of course. Y'all know this is my favorite fake tan. Not just because she's like my best friend, but because I genuinely love this tanner and I could not go a week without it. Nail clippers, because once again, you never know when somebody or you is gonna need to cut their toenails or their fingernails or whatever the case may be. Deodorant, of course. I always bring a mini mouthwash, but it is extra important that I do this this week because I'm still supposed to be rinsing with salt water and like antiseptic mouthwash so I'm gonna open this and pour some of my new big bottle into it should be good I believe that this is everything that I need toiletries wise I'm also bringing makeup wipes I never use makeup wipes but you guys I'm so sick of traveling with this I have a mini size one but it's at my mom's and I forgot to bring it over and it's really complicated to fill up because these caps are impossible to get off I'm not sure if like hair stuff counts as toiletries but I'm gonna pack up my hair stuff now I got this new wet brush if you guys watched my hygiene shopping video the one that I did I think last week I'm bringing my curling iron and my crimper I used to never bring my crimper anywhere but lately my crimper has been a staple for me and I can't stop crimping my hair and then I'm also gonna bring my slick back brush and my little edge toothbrush thing with my I'm just gonna bring my new little wax stick that I just got from Amazon and hopefully I like this and it works well as far as shoes go I'm just gonna bring this one pair of heels because I actually no, I don't want to bring these I'm gonna bring these black platform heels instead because I feel like it'll go with more these are the other pairs of shoes I'm gonna bring these are like my old crusty dusty Birkenstocks I need new ones so bad but I just like refuse to get new ones the toe is literally like full like it fell apart <laughs> and then my little like platform like super basic sick sandals like I love wearing these on vacation even though these are also like falling apart now it's been a sec this keeps happening it actually happens a lot but I packed up all of my makeup and skincare this usually would be pretty difficult for me not difficult because I know what products I use every day but I've had my makeup bag packed pretty much this entire summer because I've been traveling so much so I've just been leaving it on my like on my vanity and I just like do my makeup out of it and like put the stuff back in hi I was gonna end the video a little while ago when I talked to you last but then I decided I was gonna pack up my jewelry. I just have to put my rings in here and then one more necklace. But I am gonna end the video now. So thank you so much for watching this little pack and prep with me for vacation. I hope you had so much fun watching. I usually don't have fun filming pack with me. I mean, I do. I always have fun. Like all my pack with me's are like great. I love them. But I will say packing while recording makes packing extra stressful usually. But this whole experience really wasn't bad. My nails are done. My room is clean. My bathroom is clean and I am all packed up and ready to go to Florida. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging in Florida and posting TikToks and Instagram stuff, so um, stay tuned. Again, if you guys are interested in signing up for better help, you guys can click the link in the description box to get 10% off your first month. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.